This week, I face rejection twice. Hello everybody, this is Michelle, the Fear Girl, and welcome to another episode of WTF are we so afraid of? This week, we'll talk about rejection, which is the feeling that you get when you fail to obtain something that you really, 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 really wanted. We basically face rejection since the day we were born. And then we learn how to manipulate our parents into getting everything that we want, right? Pretty please. Then in school, you face rejection when you feel like you don't belong because maybe, just maybe, you happen to have glasses at 7 when no one else has glasses and it's not even trendy. Then we face it again in high school when the person you like doesn't like you back because, I don't know, maybe you don't have boobs at 14. And then suddenly we arrive into adulthood and we start to face rejection on a daily basis. Or at least that's what we should be aiming because if we're not facing rejection constantly, it just means that we're not trying hard enough or that we're just being comfortable. And I'm definitely not into being comfortable. That's pretty much why I moved from sunny and spacious Miami to this concrete jungle I like to call home. Last year on June 12th, June 12th? Yes. I decided to become a full-time entrepreneur and since then I've been facing rejection over and over and over again. Just this week I faced rejection twice. First from the Webby Awards. And then YouTube completely broke my heart when they rejected me from their Next Stop program where they basically gather all of the most promising YouTubers and help them boost their channel. The fact that both of these things happened during the same week just made me feel heartbroken, inferior, like if I'm not good enough, it made me compare myself to others and even question myself. And for a split second, it made me even think about giving up. Rejection sucks. There are actually neuroscience studies that say that the way that the brain processes rejection is the same way that it processes an injury, releasing the same chemical that inhibits pain. I've been researching rejection for the last days. Apparently, everybody that dared to do things differently faced rejection numerous times. Did you know that Oprah was fired from her first job as a reporter? Or that the Uber guy went bankrupt before starting Uber? And I'm sure you know about Steve Jobs getting fired from Apple. JK Rowling was rejected by 12 different editorials. Even Princess Anna was brutally rejected by her sister before they became best friends or best sisters. And the list goes on and on, which brings me to these two options. First option. I could allow the fear of feeling rejected to prevent me from keep trying or two, I could maybe use fear as energy and use it to keep creating and try harder. Just last week, when I was feeling the awful pain of rejection, my friend Maria texted me this quote. And that's when I decided to do this video. I wanted you guys to see that rejection is something that we all go through and that instead of quitting, I decided to turn my feelings into positive energy to share this video with all of you. So thumbs up for that. Do I want to keep facing rejection? No. But do I want to settle for a normal life, a comfortable life and stop pursuing what I call my higher purpose? Definitely not. So what choice do I have? I say screw it and I condemn myself to a life full of rejection but hopefully full of rewards as well. Are you with me? Thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope that you are empowered now to dare to feel rejected.